In a previous video, I ran a backup of my Exchange databases. So now I'm going to do a restoration of some individual mailboxes and show you how to also do restoration of individual emails. So when I ran the backup, I had to make sure that a certain setting was checked in order to be able to restore individual mailboxes, also called granular or brick level backups. So if I go into Exchange, you can see this box was checked for the granular recovery technology. Otherwise, it just backs up the entire database and you can only restore by restoring the entire database, which is not very practical in most cases. So now I'm going to do a restoration of email, but instead of doing the entire database, I'm just going to do individual users. So I'll click on restore after highlighting the Exchange server and I'll choose Microsoft Exchange because that's my only option here. So now I have the option to restore databases or storage groups. Microsoft Exchange mailbox items or mailbox items through search. So if you're not sure who owns the email or where it is, then the search is the good way to go. I'm going to choose Exchange mailbox items. And I'm going to expand. And I've expanded both databases. I'm going to choose the administrator. So expand the administrator. And we can see the same different folders that you see in Outlook or Outlook on the web show up in our ability to restore. So I'm going to choose the inbox, for instance, and we can see there's a couple of individual letters, emails, in my inbox. Go to deleted items, and we see some additional ones as well. If I wanted to restore all of the email, the entire mailbox, first off, the account still needs to be there. So in other words, if you went into the Outlook, for instance, as the administrator or whatever user, you have to be able to open Outlook and the account has to be active, even though there's no data in it. Now I'll just test and check my credentials and it says it was successful. So I can actually restore to this user. And instead of doing all of it, I'm just going to choose to restore some of the deleted items, those three items there. Click Next. I'm going to choose the original location, but if I have a different location, I could do that as well. But it has to have Exchange installed on it and configured as well. And here's a, a great feature in Backup Exec that's gone back several generations, that if a user's mailbox is not there, so in other words, let's say that it got deleted because of a disaster or a mistake, then you can check the box to recreate it. So it will recreate that user account as well as the mailbox if it doesn't already exist on the destination server. So one way or another, that mailbox has to be up and it has to be active, whether Backup Exec recreates it or whether you recreate create it prior to the uh, restoration. Then you're going to want to put in the password for that user just to make it work. And you could also overwrite existing messages if any messages exist in there. Now, in my case, I don't need to recreate the administrator account. It's working fine. So I'm just going to leave that there. But I have actually used this at clients when a, an email user was accidentally deleted or maybe they left the company and rejoined months later after everything was deleted. Uh, I have actually gone in and checked that box and it really works well. So I'll click Next. I don't need to run any post or pre commands. Uh, I'm going to leave the name as is and choose to run now and then choose Finish. And now my restoration is going to start. I can double click on the server just to check the progress. And there's my active queued restoration. And we see that the restoration was successful. So I can double click on the job and just confirm what it was that we restored. I can also go in another way and click on job history. And the job history will give me information as well and tell me that I've restored these particular emails. And that was successful. And then you can log in as the user and just confirm that the email is there. So that's how we restore email using Backup Exec 21.